What's going on today, everybody? Uh, today, we are going to be working on a DIY goat feeder so they don't waste so much of the hay. Thank you. So much hay. Because as you can see in here, the pig is just laying in it. Yeah, we don't really want that. We kind of want to have them eat it, not waste it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, I kind of, I kind of, I looked up some images, uh, and I kind of just have an idea in my head, and we're just gonna roll with it and see if it works. I don't, I don't know. We're just gonna find out. So yeah, so what we're gonna do? Let's see what we have in here right now. So what we're gonna do is. It's going to look a little something like this. This is going to be the bottom. Sorry, did I wake you up? This is going to be the bottom to catch all the hay that falls. And then we have cattle panel. I don't have the uh, smaller square stuff, but we have cattle panel that we are going to put at an angle so then we can fit two square bales in there. I'm sorry. We can fit two square bales in there and that should last a couple weeks realistically because they still have the whole pasture. But yeah that's kind of what we're thinking. And we're just going to get into it and then we'll see what we need to add after. I don't know how much stuff we'll have to add. Okay, so the idea here is we need to get this board attached to here. That would be the first step. Measure here. We'll get it 46 and a half. We're going to get that cut. We'll come back. Now, we are to attach said board to the bottom. And pretty much just attach it however high your goats are, I suppose. It could be lower just so they can actually eat out of it. But I'm just going off this line here because I didn't really measure the height. We don't need it. It'll probably be all right. What? Yeah, I'm working in here too. Yeah, I'm working in here too. level it. Make sure she's level, right? Probably don't need to make sure it's actually level. And the level doesn't even fit, so. Oh, does that scratch real good right there? Must be nice. Oh, it looks all dirty. Hey, don't touch the tripod. Don't touch it. Okay, we'll just guess. I mean, I like it about there, right? Let me step back a little bit. That's decent. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad. So yeah, we'll attach. She's attached. We'll go ahead and attach this guy. I kind of like it all the way touching the back. We'll have it all the way touching the back, and then we'll have a board coming off here. Actually, I think we'll have to come out a little bit. We'll have to come out. Square bale ain't gonna fit because of this. So yeah, we'll come out a little bit. 
And then, yeah, we'll have a board coming off here on the side. And then we'll push that, we'll get that cattle panel cut the length, put it up there. It should be working with business here. I don't know. The, the pigs will probably run into this and usually there's a scratch in the post, but it'll be all right. Okay, I like it. We'll do two boards coming off the sides. Probably measure it and forget the tape measure. All right, I lied. We're going to put another board at the bottom here. So then we can attach the side pieces to this guy. I mean, that, that would probably be the smartest thing, to be honest. So that's what we're going to do. And then we'll measure a side piece and we'll get her going. All right, now we'll measure our sides. And we'll probably just come straight up to this and we'll just have to cut whatever angle it's at. We'll just cut a 19 and then we'll see where it's at. Okay, I lied. We're just going to use a full piece. We're going to see if a 45 fits decent. It might. Nah, it's going to have to be a tighter angle, I think. 45 wants to be there. It's going to have to be tighter. Nah, I think we, could, we might be able to just cut it shorter. Yeah, we're going to cut this tighter. Alright, so once you find your angle, if, dude, this angle is probably like a 60 degree angle, I think. Yeah, so, but once you find your angle, you hold that down, and then you can actually mark where you want to cut it. Mark where you want to cut it at the bottom, and then to do your other piece, you just hold this piece up to the other piece, trace it, and then you ain't got to find your angle again. All right, we've got those cut. Get them screwed in. And then we might need to put some sides on them. I don't know if they'll make too much of a mess coming off the sides. Because the sides is still going to be a tighter hole too. I don't even think we'll need to put sides on it. It'll be all right. started. I got short screws so I really got to send that in there. Let's do the other side. Never made one of these before. Just look at a picture and make it happen I suppose. Ain't got to be perfect. It ain't got to be perfect. All it's got to do is work, right? Okay, if it can hold this, I think it can hold uh, two square bales. Let me tell you. Yeah, I don't think. What you guys think? I don't think too much hay is gonna fall in between there. But yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. We could put a brace going across at the bottom there on that side, but I don't think it's gonna flex too much. But yeah, I think we just gotta put the panel up there. Which I'm probably gonna have to cut to size. Let's see what it looks like. It's a size. <laughs> see, I'd have to cut it like here. I don't know. I don't know how to do it yet. Let me brainstorm. Let me brainstorm what I want to do. All right. So what I've done here, cut the same angles. I'm gonna go up like. So, it's, dec it's decently straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Decently straight. Like that. Honestly, it should be a little more angled, probably, but 
Yeah, we'll put it like that. And then we'll put a top brace. Yeah, that should work. Let's try that. Yeah, it would be half an inch off. That's all right. We'll still roll with it. It'll work. It'll work. Toe nail these in. Too much angle. top in. We'll probably have a brace at the top going to there. Realistic, we might not even need to use that uh, cattle panel. It's going to be all right. I mean, realistically, we don't need, well, we're going to put one. We're going to put a side panel. That's all right. We'll put a side panel. 16 and 3 quarters. Okay. Let's just bring the old case over here. Start these. To get these started we're gonna have to do another one at the bottom another board at the bottom to kind of hold hold the hay in if they make a mess with the hay we'll put the cattle panel up or we'll buy the uh, smaller squared the smaller squared ones that you're actually supposed to use yeah, we're gonna put a piece of bottom, which will also be a half inch on both sides, but you'll be all right. Starters in here. A little bit at an angle. So I have just been using I have just been putting it on a pallet. But they still, they flick it all over. And this is to prevent them from flicking it all over. Hopefully. It should go up higher actually. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just trying to hold that in. Could we could run a board right at the middle, like right here, so then they can just reach in and grab this stuff. But I don't want their horns to get caught. Huh. I don't know. We'll run it like that, and then if they make a mess, they make a mess. We'll put the cattle panel on it. But yeah, that's a quick DIY hay holder. Hey, feeder, hey, holder, hey, feeder. Yeah, let's see if it fits a uh, square bale, huh? All right. Got our bale. Oh. Will it she fit? Yeah. Will she fit? We'll make her fit. Man, it really don't fit, huh? My calculations were a little off. Okay, we'll just back this board out a little bit. It'll be fine. It'll buff out. Is 
It's just running. It's running into this board here. So you didn't really account for that, but we'll just back this out. It'll be fine. Way easy. Not too far now. We do still want it tight. Let's try it right there. Oh, she'll fit now with a little coaxing. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's that's fine. That's fine. I could put a whole bale this way, but I think if I put it this way, I don't know. Maybe I just did a one bale feeder. <laughs> Maybe we just done a one bale feeder. I don't know. Because I could put it in this way. Yeah. Will it fit long ways? Oh, yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah, that actually fits good for one bale. I wanted two bales stacked up, but I, I'd had to build higher. Yeah, that actually worked. I wonder if, because I don't want to put another 2x4 here, but I could rip another 2x4 down. We'll see. We'll see what they do. But yeah, if you wanted to make sure they didn't, uh, you could have that, it's like a two inch by four inch holes is what they usually use, or they'll do a, what are they, they might do a two inch by two inch or a three inch by three inch square hold uh, panel. But yeah, I think this, this will probably work. I don't know how much they'll actually waste. I don't know how much they'll actually waste. But we'll find out. What I should do is... Yeah. If I get this cleaned up, this cleaned up, I'll be able to tell. But we'll get that string cut off so we're not eating that. I think it's going to work. The sides, the, the hay shouldn't fall out the sides very much. Most of it will probably fall out the front. I don't know, though. We'll see. If they go pulling at it and it, yeah, see. Let's throw one in the middle. We're going to throw one in the middle. Let's do it. Just do it to it. All right, same thing. Yeah, I think that'll work, actually. I don't think their horns will get stuck. I think they'd be able to turn it if their horns get stuck. We could go higher on it, but we're going to start in the middle, and then if their horns do get stuck, then I will raise it, but I don't think their horns will get stuck. They're not that big. I think we're going to be all right. I got to angle them. Pallet keeps tripping me up. DIY, that's a DIY goat feeder. Uh, 
If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, baby. Peace.